Oh, Professor Mil. Uh, hey guys, I know you guys are there on the Instagram, just practicing some Portuguese over here. All right, don't mind me if you guys hear some some words that you don't normally hear. Okay, just some Portuguese talk going on, trying to learn. If you guys didn't know, the Portuguese lesson they come with the with the Jiu Jitsu. Okay, so it's the Jiu Jitsu package. Plus free Portuguese on the side, so you guys getting a good deal, okay? And of course, I, sp I speak Spanish. Professor speaks a little Spanish too. Nothing. You barely speak. Profe English. Professor speaks good Spanish. <laughs> he barely speaks English. And he wants to speak Portuguese. And was born in I was a Spanish country and doesn't speak Spanish. Yes. Yeah, so no, I speak. I a speak. bunch of nothing equals nothing. <laughs> so I was Hey the guy, how you guys hanging in there? Hanging in. Hanging in there. Hang. We're hanging in. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Let's move around a little bit of Instagram. The Instagram is gonna go down soon, so make sure we go to YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Because we won't see this guy do work. Instagram. Button. We're almost there. We need another 20. No, oh, that's that's subscribers. nothing. 20 subscribers yeah. is not just that actually scares me. 100 subscribers. <laughs> 100 was a little far, but now like 100 subscribers. 20 subscribers, that's, that's 100 burpees. You guys know 10 friends. Quick warm up, then we're gonna jump into a lot of specific stuff. If you have a partner, get ready, both of you. If you don't have a partner, no problem. I'm gonna use that pillow the, if you already built your Jiu Jitsu dummy uh -huh. with the pillows and the arms and whatever. It's all sort of. <laughs> Well built, so not no, as yeah. well, just a little pillow that does the work. So sophisticated work and less sophisticated. With this, okay? Uh, Felix is gonna do the beginning with the warm up. I'm gonna be behind the camera seeing what's going on for the first beginning and then I jump in, I'll be right back into it. But quick warm up with some jumping jacks and mountain climbers, the things that we're used to just to get, get the blood the flowing. Blood flowing. Cool, All go right. ahead, sir. All right, let's go, guys. Get ready, make some space. Okay, and let's go here just on a regular jumping jacks. Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now front. Look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and open and close, guys. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Good. Stay there. We're gonna repeat this round one more time. Okay. Jumping jacks, front jacks, open and close. All right. But first, let's go back to the regular jumping jacks. Come on. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and right to the front. Go one, two, three, four, five. Six up and down, seven, eight, nine, ten, open and close. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just to get a little quick warm up there. Now we're gonna go down, guys. Mountain climbers, push ups, shoulder taps. Okay, first mountain climbers. Okay, right? let's go, let's go together. Okay, push up position. Mountain climbers, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there, guys, don't drop your knees. Okay, let's do push ups now, okay? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, nice, hold it here now, and then we're gonna do shoulder taps, okay? Tap the shoulder, okay? Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, Sains are relaxed. We're gonna repeat this one more time, okay? Same thing, uh, mountain climbers, push-ups, and then instead of the shoulder taps, we're gonna do back taps, okay? Let's go, let's do it. mountain climbers first, okay? Let's go, guys. Just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop, stay there. And then push up position. If you guys can't do ten, just hold it, okay? Don't drop your knees. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Stay there. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Stay there. Go
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Hold it. Now back tap, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Relax. Sit on the stains in here. Okay. We're going to take a deep breath. So let's actually lay down here. And let's go with the head up and down, okay, to stretch our necks. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now let's look side to side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now look at me. Next one here, we're going to do some crunches, okay? You guys don't have to go all the way off the floor, but try to get at least the shoulder blades off the floor, okay? Here, on the crunches, okay? Halfway, okay? Don't lay down, flat. Stay up here, okay? Let's go, guys. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, good job. We can relax a little bit, right? Next one, we're gonna go here. We're gonna start the bicycle crunches, okay? I want you guys to extend your leg and shift your shoulders and your hips to the side as you extend your leg. Get the full body work up here, okay? Let's go one, good, two, good, three, stand, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Relax. I don't know if you guys feel it on your abs. I'm definitely starting to feel it on mine. Okay. Next one here. We're gonna go close guard, guys. Keep the guards closed and then sit up. Reach for the choke and pull down. Okay. Get your whole back now off the floor. Okay. If you guys have to put your feet down a little bit, can do it. Okay. So let's go there. Close guard. Cross collar choke. Close the guard. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Relax here on your back a little bit. Next one that we're going to do the cross sit up here. Cross your foot in front of the other, and then we're going to go. Don't pull your head, just put your, your hand on your ear here, okay? And your arms straight on the other side. Go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good job, guys. Relax a little bit. Next one, we're going to do the triangles, okay? Open, lock, and then turn the lock, guys, meaning turning your hips, okay? Open the legs, lock it, and then turn the lock. So close it in. Here, okay? Here, just like this. Turning the hips, lock the triangle. Go, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Okay. okay, now look next. If I'm trying to pass his guard, right? He's playing guard here. I don't want to go right in the middle inside the guard. I'm going to give him grips and I'm going to give him his use of his legs. So we try to come around the side so I can pass, right? But the legs follow me. So when you try to pass, you try to. Hold the leg so yeah, you can at least push to the side and to make it simple, go on the side. It's not that easy, it's not that simple. So look, we're right here, he's gonna circle the feet so when I come to grab, that's why we do the spinning one. Look, it's, it's harder for me to just grab because the legs are not sitting there. But if I come around too, he needs to follow me. So we're gonna do this combination of the spinning feet that we haven't done all the time we do it pretty much every class with the seesaw. So look, he's circling the feet 
and moving the hips. And I want you guys to go 360. So we're gonna go all the way around. Use your legs to your feet spinning to create momentum. It's just like a sort of hip scape with the leg movement. And then we're gonna change direction and go around the other way. So pretend look, someone is trying to pass your car. He's going around, around, look, he's following me. He needs to see me always in between his legs. If I change direction, you guys can also change direction. Look, I'm fighting, trying to engage and grab the legs and pass. It's gonna make it more difficult for me to do it. Okay, so let's go around again. Go. And third, look, I'm trying to pass. Try to pretend you have your partner in front of you. If you guys are two, if you already convinced the wife or the roommate to train, have them go in front of you. And then we guys kind of switch into the halfway there. Do a little bit because you're going to definitely feel your abs and your core on this one. Cool. Let's do a little stretch here for your stomach, for your abs. You're going to go on your elbows, hips down, look up. You're going to stretch a little bit. And then from here, we're going to push up. Good. Look up. Bring it up. Nice. And down. Good. And up again. Right. Good. Warm? Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> like yeah. definitely warm. No, no, no. I'm warm. Are you guys warm? Type it in the comment section. Save my life. Thank Good. Lay down on your back. Watch. Next. You're going to be on your back. Side this. Because I'm going to. My black. I'm gonna be here trying to get side control and he's gonna create space with the hip skate. If you have your partner there, great, okay? One of you is gonna to try to get control, he's gonna frame and hip skate away. Just like that. Then come back and then I'll look, I'm gonna to try to go hip skate and then he's gonna hip skate away. Good. We can do five times one side, five times other side. Ah, oh, but I don't have a partner. <laughs> we'll find you one. Go very quick, grab the pillow. If you have the dummy already there, it's not going to be perfect, okay? But we're going to fight with what we have. The pillow, he's going to pretend that the pillow is coming in and try to do side control. So hands on the pillow, so you can frame the pillow away from you. I want you guys to lock your elbows straight, and then you kind of hipscape away, hipscape away, come back. Put the pillow on the other side. Hold it with the two hands, one on the top, on the bottom, hold it sideways and do a hipscape, hipscape away, hipscape away and go back. Good. Switch again. And go. Nice. And back. Three more. Hipscape, hipscape and go. Nice. One more on each side. And we're going to add something else to this. Go. Hipscape. Remember you're framing and do a couple hipscapes. Keep the pill away from you and your hips go out. And the last one, frame, hipscape, hipscape. Okay, now we're gonna add something else. We're gonna finish this. Here, just like that. I'm trying to get control of my partner. He's gonna initiate everything the same way that we did before. Trying to go, but don't stop here on the hipscape. Keep going back, hipscape to the third position, and then come up on the third. Good, he escapes the control. Look, I'm trying to pass his guard to control him. He frames, turns to his knees, goes to the turtle, and he's still holding because now he's holding to the pillow. So when you're doing this with your pillow, when you guys to work like that, look, you holding the pillow, pretend the pillow is coming on the side controlling you. So we're gonna do it. turn on the side, frame it away, hip skate, hip skate, bend it down, keep holding. Now pretend you're holding the knees, and then you go to the turtle position. So you always have the pillow in front of you. So we're going to do this another three times each side. Cool. You start with the pillow coming on top of your chest, trying to get a side control over you. One hand on top, one hand on the bottom of the pillow. So pretend you're framing, so you have a wide frame, and then you go. Good. Hipscape, hipscape, turtle. Good one. Switch the side. Right, switch and go. Nice. Push aside. Two. Three. Go, guys. Go. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Go. Four. Two more. And five. One more. Last one. Nice, push it away. 
and six. Good, cool. Next one, okay? We're on the bottom. Let's do, we do bridges, right? Normally, to create space, to escape. Just when you guys do, have the pillow here on your hips, just hold me on your hips, and we're gonna bridge up and down. If you have something heavier than a pillow, then you can use it. We saw people, I saw people doing workout with a gallon of milk. If you have a dog, put your dog on your lap. See if this one stays there and you guys can do it. Some people were big dogs, it would be hard <laughs> to do it. Hold the dog and go bridge here, up and down. Now that's gonna make a huge difference, but at least to balance. Don't let your, leave your legs falling down, collapsing to the side. You wanna keep a good balance here on your legs when you're bridging. So we're just gonna do bridge, 10 bridges, okay? With the pillow on top of your hips. Or the dog. On the hip, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, stay there because we got bridge number two. You don't want to bridge and stay on the bottom if you're trying to escape. Okay, sometimes you're bridging because you have an armbar bridging to hip escape. That's fine, but a lot of times you want to bridge and follow the moment to go on top. Especially if, it, let's say, I have mount over my partner, right? He controls my arm here on the grip, and then he's gonna bridge me out. He's not gonna stay there, he's gonna step over, come on the side. So that's our bridge number two, a bridge with a step over. So we're gonna do this, hug the pillow. Hug the pillow, and one. I don't think it's gonna work with the dog, guys, so yeah. maybe you just stay with the pillow. Leave the dog alone. Yeah. <laughs> two. He might start to wrestle you away. Three. Four. Five. Stop right there. Is the bridge number two the only option you have when you're going on top? Bridge number two is bridge, step over. What if this is not working? Then I kick behind the leg, underneath the leg, and I'm still able to turn and go from the bottom to the top. So the next five, we're gonna do bridge number three. Again, bridge number three is you bridge on your right, the right foot goes behind the left. You turn your hips, sit up. The other side, you bridge on your left, left behind the right. Let's do four more, two each side. And go. Nice, one more. And we got two more, one each side, let's go. One on the left, one on the right, and then we're done. Go bridge, kick under the leg, turn, sit up, good. All the way, bridge, kick underneath the leg, and up, perfect. We did some drills on the bottom, let's move up and do some drills on the top. That's a very common drill that we do from here, and then if you have a partner, we're gonna work on this like this. Feet down on the floor, I'm gonna start here on the side, I'm going to jump over to my left side, so my left hand goes on his knee, the other hand in between his legs, and then I hop over. I'm going to the right, so right hand on his knee, the other one in between the legs, and hop over. So I want this, you're going to try to go quick on this side to side. Oh, but I don't have it. I don't have a partner. You're going to your right, right hand on the pillow, left hand on the floor, hop over to the side of the pillow. Okay? Now i got to go over to my left side. Left hand on the pillow, then you want to pivot on your arm. Turn. To the right, post the right. To the left, post the left. Stay low on your hips, not with the legs straight out of posture, more on this posture with the back straight and the hips down. As low well as you can go, guys. Ten of those. Go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now look. Another drill. Let's pretend that we're working on passing the guard. Okay? Some of you are working on the hard floor, so don't worry about finishing the pass all the way. But what I will do is grab his knee, other hands on his stomach, push to the side, I'll stop, scissor. Come back. If you don't sit, that's fine. You're gonna be working on your balance. I'm going to the right. So the right hand grab his knee, push the knee down. The other hand stays here. I'm gonna take a right step, and then I kick the other leg. Look, if I'm going to the scissor to pass, you guys don't have to go all the way. Especially if you're doing it on your pillow, this is gonna work like that. 
Then I go to my left side. So my left hand is going to push down. So you post it on the floor. The other one post on the pillow. Snap. Kick. It's like scissors pillow. I'm posting on the pillow. Step. Come back. Left hand on the pillow. Right step. Kick. Come back. Right hand on the pillow. Left side. Come back. Left hand on the pillow. Right side. Come back. Got it? Let's see. Let's do it, guys. Keep the same posture. Wide base. So you don't have to take a two step. Too far step. One hand on the pillow. Scissors the other way. One. Come back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice. If I'm fighting on my partner here and I have side control and I'm feeling that I'm about to lose position because he's bridging in and he's getting his knee in front of my hip and for some reason you don't want to use your hand back there to block when he's bridging and that knee's coming in front of my hip, look what I do, scissors. If he's pushing me here and I'm falling back. I can turn back to side control or I can switch my arms and scissors all the way. So I keep switching my scissors. If it breaks, I'm falling back. I switch my arm over, scissors all the way. Always with the hips down, always heavy on my partner. If he's pushing me back, I'm falling back. I switch my arms, switch my scissors. You don't have your partner. You have your pillow partner. No so this problem. time, no, no partner, no problem. <laughs> this time I want you guys, chest heavy on the pillow, elbow over, scissor. Switch your elbow, switch your hips. Don't lose control of the pillow. That's your partner, that's your opponent when you fight. Switch your elbow, switch your hips. Just like that. No pillow, no problem. Go ahead, sir. Ten times. No pillow, no problem. Elbow on the floor, over, hips on the one side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I saw that he felt the last one, so I gave him a nice one this time. <laughs> and now you're back one more time. That one was pretty nice. Now look, I'm here on the side control, controlling the fight. He's pushing, I'm feeling that I'm gonna lose position. I'm gonna put my head down on the side and use my shoulder to hold him down. Posting, up, other side. Okay, look, he's pushing, framing to push. First thing I have to do is switch my head back to the same side that I'm sitting. So my partner is on this side. My head goes down. I use the far shoulder and the stomach. Head stance and head as well. Thank you. Swing sides. Yes, pressure <laughs> with the shoulder. So what I want you guys to do is use your shoulder on the pillow. Pressure. Because when you transition, if you don't jump high and your legs go almost on the, like a hand stance, head stance, straight up and you have a good balance, the hook's gonna flip you over. So when you go up, you gotta, you gotta be able to go up and switch your hips. So when I do this, look, I put my shoulder, I switch my head to the same side that I'm sitting. Up, turn your hips, then you go down the other side. Switch your head, shoulder, up, and go. If you cannot jump all the way up, go as high as you can. We're gonna do 10 jumps, side to side. 10 pillow pressure jumps. Pillow pressure. Pillow pressure. Go. Switch. One. Nice, turn your hips. Switch. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Sometimes you lose your bounce. Fix for the next. Seven. Eight. 
nine, ten. Very nice. And the pillow doesn't complain. Very nice. Doesn't feel it. Start here in the squat position. Squat down. In front of the pillow, in front of your partner. We're gonna go hands on the pillow. Up, step, knee on belly. Come back, squat down again. We're not gonna touch the knees down. When you guys to work on this, up, hip up. One, two. Squat down again. When I, when I come up with the hip flip, one, step two. When my knee comes on the pillow, it's in between my arms. Here, go back. Up, step two, knee on belly, three. Okay? Three steps to get into the knee on belly. Start in the squat position, come up, step, knee in between your arms. One, good. Go back and up. Step, knee on belly, two. Good. Squat down and go. Three. Go. Four. A little bit faster. Five. Just hop into the position. Good, too. Six. Seven. Faster. Eight. Nine. And nice. Nice and easy. It's like a dance. You gotta catch the rhythm. Nice and easy. <laughs> now you already have your knee on belly. And we just record the knee on belly today. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So it's, it's been gonna good. be on the portal, guys. After a good picanha. Yeah. Churrasco. Churrasco. After the barbecue <laughs> earlier, we record this, and now we're doing more knee on belly. You find it here, your partner's trying to push the skate. We switch sides on the knee on belly. Look, his focus on one side to skate. Once I transition, I am able to catch him with something on the other side. So if I can switch quick. How will I do that? My right knee is on the stomach. The left knee comes in. I shift my way forward. And then my legs work like the windshield wipe. Switch, switch, switch. Switch, switch, switch. switch, switch. switch, switch, switch. I like the switch, switch. <laughs> well, look how Philip's gonna do that. On the pillow, first backwards so they can see your feet, then you go forward. So you have one knee, the other leg out. Then we bring the knee in. For some time, you have both knees on the pillow. Sing the song. The swish. knee on the pillow goes swish, swish. Knee, switch, and up. Okay, face forward. And we're gonna do 10 of those. Again, not too fast in the beginning. If you catch it, then go quick. Let's go. One. Two, put some speed on it. Three, let's see. Four, huh? five, faster. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. And you speed. Seven o'clock, half an hour workout. Nice and easy, does it? Wasn't a bad. Wasn't, wasn't bad, too man. much. The kids' class was, was a little more intense today. I had the gi on today. Professor has gi on today. We're missing, We're missing it today. We're missing the gear, that's why. Yeah. So we put the gear on today. Let's go down. Cool guys. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I'm gonna be on the mount. Like this time we work more about. If you're on YouTube, you have to comment. Like. You're a YouTuber or what? If yeah. you're on YouTube or if you're we not. We are YouTubers. If you're there watching somehow, this very end of it, and you want this guy to do a hundred burpees, go into the YouTube channel with the gear on. With the gi on, on or on or off? On or off? It's up to you. We'll let, we'll let them decide. Comment. 100 burpees. 100 we got 100 burpees. subscribers. 50 gi burpees, 50 no gi burpees. Uh, what? Ah. Rest, rest of the thing with that. What is it? Subscribe. Rest. Subscribe. Register for the tournaments that are coming up after this coming up. quarantine. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. like the videos. If you want him challenging Noah, there's a video of the Noah jelly and Coach Philip jelly bean, disgusting jelly bean challenge. Part two. The other one that he ate, the 50 jelly bean too, is there. And this guy loves jelly beans. So check it out. Never gonna eat jelly beans. Send to some friends. <laughs> and one more time, we hope and we're praying for this thing to get over yeah. soon and we can go back, back and then we'll see this place full of people again. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Cool. Us.
You can stay talking to them. And then we I gave a, I gave a nice speech that nobody got to hear, but it's alright. I won't. Be. It was a, the moment's gone anyway.